because Steve is back again and he's got a vlog today so let's see I think it's been it's done in his backyard they've been camp trailing so hard all day hundreds of planes and what is that huh. uh, I think it's the second time that sweeps around today and they're bigger and it's closer there were four of them Look at that. I mean, what in the world? It's tough for them to let us know. Maybe you the solar sun simulating technology in the center of the sun, you can see it's pretty. Right? And that black thing that we just saw earlier on in the early upload that preceded this one. Wow. Yep, that's that's what's being pointed out here. It's the solar sun simulator. And you can see the shape of that. You can see here where the projection happens in the focal point. We've discussed this at length. In fact, the physicists uh, with Chris, uh, 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 the one who's um, collaborating with Chris, Chris Potter, he's done. Uh, he's basically um, um, just um, done a superb, superb presentation on this, explaining the solar sun simulator in detail. And uh, he's left very little one. I mean, there's not much to be left to be desired uh, in, in the presentation. It's it's, it's absolutely um accurate hey everybody it's steve olson it is november 1st 2016 evening time i thought i'd go through and just show a couple things tonight and you know talk about a couple of images that i got and then show some um images at the end from october kind of a review of some of the things we saw in the month um, this is a photograph from the Midwest at 1.15 a.m. towards the east, and uh, the reason that it's interesting is because it is a very deep red light, and uh, the, the moon is actually behind the sun right now, so the moon is going to come up before the sun, so an interesting photograph. Thank you for sharing it, and, and again, this, this ominous red kind of color on the horizon. Here's one of those sneaky pictures, you know? You look at it, and you go... What the heck are they trying to tell me they're seeing in this picture? <laughs> and then, as you there check you this out, this is yeah, this is very strange, guys. You as you mind zoom mind. in on this uh, mind cloud, mind. guys, that's behind the clouds. It's the same green planet that's been seen, and it's been seen today in a few places. In fact, hold on, let's just pause this, shall we, and um, open another page, and we can see it. So you can see the corroborating evidence. I generally don't. Um, um, uh, show any sort of uploads uh, from um, goodness, I've forgotten his name. This chap over here, because uh, his work is quite sensational, um, and I tend to stay away from it simply because it's quite. It's his style is a bit. It's not to everyone's liking. Although there's many, like you can see, there's thirty thousand subscribers, but um, his style is something that. Um, um, doesn't. Although he's brilliant, he's a very lovely guy. Don't get me wrong; he's a really, really nice guy. He means well, but you know, everyone's got a different style. It's certainly not the kind of style that I personally um, resonate with. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Obama has now. Oh goodness! Okay, Obama won. Haley <laughs> will attack in twenty seventeen. We'll come back to that in a second. Okay, baby, baby. Basically, that's not it. Hold on. Let me just see if I can find. It's 
Where are you going, buddy? Aha, uh -huh, here you go. There are days that define your story beyond your life. I'm Colonel G.T. Webber. I'm the Colonel G.T. Webber. I'm the Colonel G.T. Webber. I just want you to see this. And the approximate times. There you go. It's been caught. That same planet that we just saw on WSO. This is corroborating evidence. Look at the date, November 1st, right? It's been caught in different locations. We started to photograph this planet ourselves. Now, this planet is not visible every single night. There you go, next to the moon. But now, how many, I mean, seriously, this is, it's been seen in different locations. As we began. Now, either it is a planet or it's a moon to one of the, uh, uh, the giant gas giants. Um, I'm unsure. Uh, to be honest with you, but I've certainly been catching this. Uh, the ones that I've been catching myself were very like um, um, suspect in the sense that they seem quite transparent, but maybe that's because of the, uh, the cloaking technology that they were using and the um, lenses to change the focal point of that particular celestial body. Maybe perhaps that's why it looks so transparent. So I've always been very suspect in sharing it. There's also another one that looks similar like this, but that's actually a refraction of the sun because it actually goes round and moves. These what we've seen are very stationary objects and this is actually taken at night next to the moon. And to zoom in with a telescopic lens on a 35 millimeter digital camera we were able to take absolutely intriguing and spectacular photographs of this planet. It does not stay in the nighttime sky, but more than maybe two hours. So, of course, it has its retrograde orbit, right? But we have our orbit, and both of them compounded. Certainly, this uh, celestial body is going to whiz past and it's not going to stick around in the horizon for too long for us to stare at it. And this explains all the black chemtrailing and the white chemtrailing that we're seeing in our skies, especially the, the content that I've been sharing uh, the, uh, today. And then it is gone. Of our skies. We do not know which planet this may be, but it is not a planet in our solar system. We have checked the skies. Yeah, there's not. Uh, I don't think there's any celestial body within our solar system that looks like this in our skies. Okay? They certainly don't look mm, green, uh, any planet. So, I mean, I'd like NASA to explain this one away. With our sky map and the sky map application and venus is out of the question saturn is definitely out of the question all known planets in our solar system are simply out of the question we've done the best that we could to produce clear photographs of this planet is it part of the nemesis solar system part of Nibiru, we cannot say positively, but this is absolutely no planet known in our solar system. And we've been seeing these eclipses of the moon with a small planet in the upper right hand side of the sky, clearly visible in this photograph. Now, this small blue planet has also been seen in the early evening, just as the sun is going down. See now, there's a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam where there's mention about the moon being eclipsed, a lunar eclipse, and you can potentially see how this binary binary system and its celestial bodies could be responsible for that. You all, you almost saw the moon being eclipsed, uh, uh, sixty uh, percent. By a celestial body in this photograph. So you can imagine if a larger celestial body, or even that celestial body for that matter, it totally can occlude the the uh, the eclipse the moon, and um, certainly another larger celestial body that may come in front of our sun could do exactly the same to our sun as well, and we'd have the sun eclipse as well, right? And, and that was one of the one of the one of the signs, uh, one of the. Uh, uh, hadith of the Prophet wasallam. So again, this binary system uh, uh, seems to be uh, the asbab, the means through which many, many, many of the hadiths laid out in the um, 
science PDF that I've shared with you guys on numerous and it's on the channel anyway for those of you who are tuning in for the first time um, uh, upload that science PDF we've laid out all the um, uh, potentially the 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 uh, events that may occur during the passage of this binary system but again you can very easily see how it could be responsible for all of the above if not some of them or maybe perhaps one of them but Russell Hanworth other knows best being right above the horizon yes where you would see Venus but Venus doesn't appear in our sky as a blue planet there you go we have checked on this consistently over the last few weeks and compiling these photographs brings us to the conclusion that this is possibly a planet in the nemesis solar system could it be helion can it be arbata we just don't know here is a clear photograph of venus the second planet from the sun as you can clearly see, it does not appear blue at all. And with that said. Okay, so I guess he ends there. And let's continue and see what um, our guy Steve has got to say. You see this green orb, and we have been seeing this green planet refracted, reflected. And I think this is just one of those times where the lensing system was not directly blocking it off. And check out how the light actually bends around it, too. Um, very, very interesting shot. That is a very loud Doberman behind me, too, that is chewing up a bottle, just so you know. <laughs> but check out that green object, man. Let's see if I can pull in a little closer on it. Wow. Look, at it's behind the clouds, mm -hmm. clearly. And uh, so that's our green planet, I believe, guys. I do, I do, I do. Today was a big day, 1101, in terms of chemtrailing across the Midwest United States and I think other areas of the world, too. But they were really trying to cover up several things as we saw earlier today. But one of the things they, they were trying to cover up was this reverse rainbow again, guys. It was as clear as can be today. And thank you for the subscriber that uh, sent that one in for us to look at. But that reverse rainbow indicates that it's an object up there, guys. You know? Access down does. in Australia. In Australia. That's the science, by the way. Um, uh, the sun, when it reflects into our atmosphere, we get the arch, the golden arch, as it were. Uh, whereas if it's another body, then you're going to see it in reverse of that. Antarctica, rather. It's the Australian Antarctic Division. They're very generous with their footage. I'm just going to take you for a spin on 31st October 2016. Just look at it, guys. Just tell me what you're seeing here, because we're looking straight up in the sky, and I can't tell you what I'm seeing. And I've been seeing this for a long time. Check it out. See the circle and the triangles and all the weirdness on there? And these stationary objects up in the sky that are like all there all the time. It almost looks like the surface of some kind of a planet or something. I can't tell you, man. Let's let it spin around and see if we have a clear day on the first There's two here. At the bottom, six Looking at it real time with Steve Olson right now, first time. And again, oh, did you see that shadow come by? That probably was the moon. Look at that circle down in the lower middle. Unbelievable thing. I just I don't know what to tell you about it. Um, it's weird. I just wanted to show it to you again. It's the, one of the things that has stumped me ever since I've been researching this. Is there a stationary object sitting over the southern hemisphere of the world? Okay. I don't know. Before I get uh, into the musical portion. <laughs> okay, this is uh, where um, Steve is going to do his spiel. So we'll basically leave it at that. Bless him. He means well. And um, certainly for those of you who would like to tune in, then uh, uh, please do. Um, like I said, I've got a lot, a lot, a lot of content to go through and archive and um, upload onto the channel, uh, so that hopefully um, um, you may be able to benefit from it. And um, again, please, you know, feel free to upload any one of my uh, videos on the channel. Uh, create a new channel, uh, upload the science PDF onto it. Just um, let other people know about it. You know, um, I, I've got. Seriously, I've got no motives whatsoever other than maybe, you know, perhaps being a means of um, um, helping and benefiting people uh, uh, however possible. You know, anyway, Jazakallah khairan wa asimu jazakallah wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.